So this is the box culvert that comes all the way down from Goodlett Road, carries the stormwater all the way to here. And then right here, there used to be what they call a conflict box, a junction box. And it picked up the, the little pipe that carries water from this ditch. But then from this square box, you can kind of see there, it went into three round pipes here. And then the three round pipes, oops, other way, went under the road where this tractor is, this excavator. And then it went into that concrete box. Actually, this concrete box that I'm standing on right here. And then from here, going out that way to where it discharges, there's two bigger pipes. So it goes from square box culvert to three small pipes to two large pipes, and then it discharges. And what was happening over the years is stuff was getting caught up in all these intersections and these junction boxes and all that kind of stuff. So what they're gonna do is tear out all of this stuff and put box culverts in. But they're also going to take storm water off Solana Road and they're gonna discharge it into that front lake at Royal Point Siena. And then under the entrance at the light down there, they're going to jack and bore a pipe to connect the lake on the west side to the lake on the east side over here at RP. And then over here, they're gonna come back this way. Then they're gonna reconnect. They're gonna come from the lake over there and come back this way, pick up the box culvert and go out. So the reason why they're doing all that is so they can get the water quality credits of using the lake as filtration for all the storm water. Because where does all this water go? It eventually goes to the Gordon River, and the Gordon River goes to Naples Bay, and they know that Naples Bay is what they call an impaired water body. So they're trying to filter and mitigate all of the storm water that goes to it as much as possible. So that's the story right now. It's a lot of ripping and tearing and beating and clanging while they do the demo, trying to get all these old concrete pieces out of the ground so as the story progresses i'll keep you updated